Hello and welcome to my top lane Tiger Yuri guide. Yuri has recently been more in the spotlight thanks to recent buffs and of course the new Spirit Guard Yuri skin. You've probably seen Diamond Prox's Thorns Blade Yuri Younger or perhaps Trick to G's Anokiva Fuck Younger. What I'm going to look at in this guide is a playstyle revolving a lot on abusing his Q's extreme AD scaling. You see, when activated, Yuri gains 30% attack speed and the next order attack deals 30 plus 120% of Udi's AD, and not his bonus AD, but his base AD too. And these numbers were taken from rank 1, so imagine what it does at rank 5, because the AD scaling scales with ranks too. Now on top of this, his order attacks in Tiger Stance deals increased damage on hit, and mind you, his Q ability is a short cooldown spell with a 6 second base, and I tend to get CDR on top of that to increase his damage output even further. Target Yuri's strength lies in dueling, having burst damage, sustained damage, tankiness, mobility, and utility. Uh, you're going to see uh, information about masteries, rooms, and uh, items in a sec, and you can press the skip button if you'd like to skip those sections. Anyways, let's talk about rooms. For marks, I suggest going attack damage because your Q ability scales incredibly well with AD and uh, as such it helps a lot to have extra AD. Uh, attack speed is also viable if you want to smack a few more times in, uh, instead of smacking harder basically. Uh, for seals I suggest going armor, it helps in every lane whatever you're going against because every champ you're going to go against has um, odd attacks which armor reduces damage from. Uh, for Glyphs, I suggest going magic resist or scaling magic resist or a mix of both. Um, unless you're going against a very AD heavy team, you could potentially switch them out for more armor or some uh, cooldown reduction or whatever. Uh, and for quintessences, I uh, suggest going attack damage for the reason mentioned earlier. Or you could go for movement speed because uh, Udu is very easy to kite uh, and if you're against a ranged champion or something in lane, then movement speed quints may be a great idea. Okay, now for masteries, there are two pages that I would suggest. The first one is an offensive rube page. Uh, you should use it against most champions that you think you can get to, really. Um, the other one I have is a more defensive rube page, and you should use this when you're scared of being poked. Uh, if you're up against a ranged champion or a Perhaps a physical damage champion like Riven or something that you need to, you know, mitigate the damage as much as possible to be able to put out the damage you want to. Now, before we go into items, we're going to look at some of the strengths that Tiger Yuri has in the top lane. Now we're gonna watch a clip in motion here where I'm up against the Lisin. Uh, I use my best stance to do a lot of damage. I pop my shield in case he would follow up anything. Uh, I see an opportunity, so I go in with my E. My shield soaks his damage, I use my Q's to deal even more damage, and thanks to my movement speed for my passive I'm able to dodge his Q perfectly. And from there on it's a free kill, and uh, Lee Sin is so nice that he actually kicks me out and uh, I can go back to farming. Here's another piece of footage uh, where I'm up against the Lee Sin once again. Um, I'm trying to see what I can do, as you see my tiger stance does a lot of damage and no notice here how I move in front of him so I keep being in front of him if possible uh, and I am able to because of my insane movement speed that I get from tiger stance and my passive. Now this next clip is uh, undeniably a show off, but it is also a good example of what Yuri is capable of, and uh, please note that I'm not even fed in this clip, so... Uh, they're focusing Twisted Fate, uh, I go in, smack Vayne, my Q dot and Ignite takes her out. As you can see I can take a lot of damage without a problem, and from here on out I have a free way to a quarter kill, and it's really quite sick what Yuri is capable of, as I said. Um, you can smack out damage, you can run between targets, you can soak damage with DW, and in general he's just, he's just incredibly annoying to deal with in teamfights. Here's another clip of a teamfight. Um, 
this is after the quarter kill, so I'm a little bit more fed now. Nami misses her bubble, so this is an opportunity to go in. Uh, Twisted Fate locks a red card for some reason, but uh, I go in anyways, and uh, I'm soaking a lot of damage, and I get kicked out, and suddenly I see an opportunity on Vayne. And this is very representative of Udo in teamfights, because I'm so fast, I can just look for opportunities and eventually get to my target. It's very good. And um, I do so much damage now, so... Yeah, not a problem for me to kill her. Uh, I can follow up here, take out G with ease. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot of attack speed, damage, and uh, Nessus tries to kill me here, but he's not able to because I have life steal and I have my shield, so he doesn't have much to say about that. Alright, so next up, we're going to discuss some item builds. Now, for the starting items, um, the first option you have is going uh, red pot and uh, free health potions. Uh, you should use this if you want to get a kill early on in the game, uh, or if you know your jungler is going to come to your lane at level 3 or uh, the like. Um, if you're against a ranged champion or something and you need some extra movement speed, then grab boots and 4 potions. Uh, if you're against a harassed lane or you don't really know if you can kill the opposing top laner early on, then uh, grab a rejuvenation bead, 5 health potions and a ward. Uh, the first couple of times you go back, you should aim to have these items. Boots, Kindle Gem, Glacial Shroud, Vampiric Scepter, and one of the damage items, depending on which damage item you're building later on. Uh, the Glacial Shroud and Kindle Gem is for uh, cooler induction and tankness, which is very important to have as Uder early on in the game. Uh, sustain from Vampiric Scepter, and then the extra damage from the damage items listed after that. Okay, now, for the actual build itself, your main build should look something like this. Mercury Tread, Spirit Visage, Frozen Fist, Bloodthirster, Witsend, and Randwin's Omen. Now, for boots, you can switch out the Mercury Treads for Boots of Swiftness or Nina Tabi, depending on how the opposing team looks. But you should probably go Zephyr if you don't have uh, Mercury Treads, because you need the tenacity as Uder, because otherwise you're so easy to catch. Spirit Visage is also an excellent item on Uder because it grants him uh, increased lifesteal and it also grants him magic resistance and cooldown reduction and some HP too. Uh, it can be swapped out for Warmog if you'd rather have that. Frozen Fist is good because it grants you cooldown reduction and it allows you to catch up with targets and be a pain in the ass and constantly be on them. It can also be sw swapped out for Trinity Force if you want more damage. Now here are the lifesteal items I talked about. Uh, you should probably go for Bloodthirster if you can, it grants you a lot of AD and, as I've said, his Q scales excellent with AD, so a lot of AD is always welcome. It can be swapped out for uh, Ravenous Hydra if you want more split pushing power, which it should kind of need in some cases, because Uder can't really push lanes in as a tiger. Um, and you can also switch out Bloodthirster for Blade Thruing King, if you're against a team with lots of tanks or lots of HP stackers or so. Uh, Wit Sand is excellent, it has a on hit effect and it grants you magic resistance and attack speed. Uh, Zephyr is a substitute for Wit Sand if you didn't get Mercury Treads. And the last item you can get is an armor item. Um, Random Omen, easy to catch up with AD carries, uh, it reduces their attack speed and their movement speed. Uh, you can get Frozen Heart, which grants you even more CDR and it also reduces the attack speed of uh, AD carries and stuff. And you can get Garden Angel if your team or you need to. Now for the last items, um, these are other usable or useful items. Uh, if you need armor penetration, if you're playing in a AD heavy team and the opposing team will probably build armor, then grab Black Cleaver uh, or Last Whisper, sorry. Uh, you can also get Frozen Mallet in, as a substitute for Frozen Fist or Trinity Force. Ginsu's Rage Blade is a... <coughs> Very fun item because it grants you increased stats when you're low on HP. And if you keep spamming shields and keep life in low on HP, then you can get the enemy team to focus you for a very long time. And uh, that's useful for the rest of your team. Sunfire Cape is useful if you want to split push more. Uh, Thor Mail and Maw of Malmortimus is excellent if, you, if you're up against a AD heavy or a Magic heavy team.
Alright guys, that is all for me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my new graphics and stuff and all the stuff I'm uh, doing on my channel right now. Uh, I'll be increasing my update rate, I mean my upload rate at videos, so expect more the next coming weeks and months. Um, please tell me what you think down in the description below about the video and what I can do better. Uh, and uh, please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Bye bye.